so this is my today's game against uh, Valentin Bukos. I'm playing white. Ten, ten, six. Okay, the opening is I went for this King's Indian attack, so it's uh, nothing extraordinary. So this is still uh, this is still tabia position. Nothing uh, ex new happened, and I think the first critical position of the game will rise here. He played d4, c4, rook e8. So I went for knight g5, which looks very promising because I want to go queen h5. I'm trying to create problems. He played f6, takes, takes, queen g4. He must take. Queen f7 and I play g6. Now he should have, I think he should have played queen f6. And after this the game is okay. I'm maybe a little bit better, but I think it's okay. He took here, bishop e4. And now he went for uh, this piece sacrifice with knight e5. He could have played e5 as well. But this I have calculated already at the time of playing g6. And I thought that I am winning, but actually there are some... Uh, some small nuances which I have to be precise with. That's why I take, he takes, king h1. In case of rook f5, I have rook e2, rook h5 check, queen takes h5. So he must take here. And now I take with the rook. Now in case of rook f5, the same rook e2 and queen takes h5. King f7 is met with rook f4 and I'm taking the queen. So he must take the knight. And here I didn't take the knight, I take the pawn. This is important to so it started like he was having the attack, but suddenly I'm taking over the initiative and his king is weak, rook h4, this is a very important move. I'm attacking the king and his queen is a bit locked out from the game. And this is actually a, a critical moment. Here he played rook f5, but I think only move would have been queen e2. And I have the advantage after rook f4 check, king e8, takes, takes, and bishop d6, as there is no perpetual because king h3 has safe uh, zone there but i mean i think i'm better here but maybe not winning i don't know it's difficult to say and instead in the game he played rook f5 which probably here he played rook f5 which probably was a blunder because i played g4 and the point is that he cannot take the, the bishop uh, because of rook f1 and queen h7 is just uh, is just winning it's inevitable and otherwise, if the rook moves, uh, let's say to f2 or wherever, I have this idea with rook h7, queen h5, and rook h8 is just mate in 3. Uh, so after g4, he played the only chance which was queen f2, but here I'm already um, just finishing the game. I take the rook, now my rook up, he must take the bishop if he wants to continue. And here, queen h5 check, king g8, rook f1. And now the king is mated, he took e f5, but this is already just... Uh, Final touch, and queen h7, and I'm taking the queen. So basically speaking, I think it was kind of a, a straightforward game, if I might say. But um, around the time when I played g6, I think he overestimated this 95 idea. And uh, okay, I think after 95, objectively, I should be just much better winning. So.